Hey y'all, I'm Chris from Key Farm. Robot beach wagon. First of all, we have made a trip to the Gulf of Mexico. And you may be asking yourself, why do you need a robot beach wagon? Well, because it's quite difficult to get from where the parking lot ends to out there by the water. And nothing illustrates that better than this young man I run into named Grant. So y'all, this was me last year dragging my wagon across the beach. And this is the purpose for a robot beach wagon. Okay, so Grant was lugging that cooler and he let me videotape him. And that is the whole reason why the robot beach wagon. So check this out. I get there, I meet these two dudes. As soon as I get Bruce, by the way, we nicknamed it Bruce. My buddy Bruce came up with an acronym. Beach Remote Unit 2 Carry Everything. So... If you hear me refer to it as Bruce, that, my friends, is why. So as soon as I get there, look, this soft sand is a problem for everybody. So I run into these two dudes, this uh, Kenny and Billy. Billy had took an existing beach wagon and put bigger tires on it. And he said it did do better, um, but it didn't steer right. So they still had some work to do on theirs, and I still have some work to do on mine. But we'll both be back bigger and better next year. So anyway, first day out, we take Bruce out, and this sand is just undefeated so far. We couldn't get enough traction to push the front end across the sand. Now, you could put a rope on the front end and just give Bruce a little bit of help, and that worked out just fine. So that's what we did the first couple of days on the soft sand. Now, in the parking lot or out on the sidewalk, Bruce did just fine. Here's a little bit of video of Bruce on the sidewalk. <laughs> Does great on the sidewalk. So you see, pretty cool out there. So then after that, I was running Bruce down the beach. I'd, I'd help him across the soft sand and get him out there to where the, the sand was a little bit wet. Now keep in mind, I am not very close to the ocean, okay? Every now and then a wave would come up and barely touch a wheel and I'm just running Bruce down the beach kind of trying to get a feel for how much range it has and right now even at 12 volts it has plenty of range. down the beach look I have talked to a lot of people by the way I met a lot of great people down on the beach I met the gentries uh, they were in a condo very very close to ours I met a couple of school teachers I don't remember their names but they were very very nice and friendly uh, I met countless people out on the beach that would stop and, and look at Bruce and uh, of course Kenny and Billy it look if any of y'all watch this video just leave me a comment down below so that I know that you see me so anyhow, I just talked to this group of people, and Bruce is doing everything he's supposed to do, everything's wonderful. Well, here comes a rogue wave. You know how sometimes you're sitting there, and a wave will come up much further than the norm? So I'm running Bruce down the beach, and bam, crash, here comes this big wave. And where most of them would maybe come up and just barely touch a tire, this was still 8 to 10 inches of water when it got to the robot wagon. Electronics and salt water do not mix. The last thing I seen Bruce do before I got all the power cut off was Bruce was turning right, and I didn't ask Bruce to turn right. That is not a good sign. So I cut all the power. I was a quarter mile away, but I lugged Bruce back to the condo. The next day, I put on this mechanical front end that I took with me. And... We used Bruce as just a mechanical wagon for the next day. In the meantime, I got all my uh, parts dried out, and 
I took Bruce back out on the beach. Now, here's some video of Bruce in the original form out there struggling on the beach in the soft sand. Hey y'all, Chris from Key Farm. So, I wish I could say it was 100% successful, mm, but sand is hard to deal with. that catastrophe with the rogue wave um, I got Bruce back together in about a day had to take everything out and dry it out but in this time the throttle I didn't put it on a button I just put an on and off switch so I took it out there and I reversed the polarity I tried to make Bruce front wheel drive with rear steer to see if that would help go across the sand any better and then here's the test that we did like that All right, so this is after the rogue wave, and I've done some things. I've added a switch right there to turn this thing on and off instead of hitting it with a, another button. We do have still have steering on a remote. You can hear it. Right now it's rear steer. We're going to go out here and hit the sand and see if it does any better with rear steer and front wheel drive. Luckily, all the electronics still work, but right now the, the motor is straight wired and um, just the steering's on a remote. I put the throttle on a switch just to uh, get it back moving. But we're going to hit this sand and we're going to see what happens. It's front wheel drive now. Front wheel drive, rear steer. All right, going off the road. Just won't do it. The front tires try. They're just sink and dig. All right, y'all, so we've had a lot of problems. And in the meantime, to try to get through, I have reversed the polarity of the cart, which makes it front wheel drive and rear steer. But it's still not helping us. I can help it along. This sand is so fine, it just will not stay up on top of it. Even with dual treaded tires, we got power, we just can't get traction. Now, if you want to help it along, it does just fine. But it was built to not have to help it along. But watch these tires push sand. See, they're not up on top of it. They're pushing sand. Hmm. Uh, there's work to be done. So, as you can tell, the soft sand is still undefeated. So we got options. We can go with bigger circumference tires, just like we got. Um, we can go with those big gray balloon beach tires. They come anywhere from nine inches to 16 inches. May need to go that route. However, they're expensive, <sighs> real expensive. But what we do know is that we had a great research and development trip to the Gulf. We will be back again to try it out next year hopefully. Um, 
and something needs to be done differently because Bruce did not conquer the soft sand. Now, coolness factor, way up here. Uh, functionality everywhere but soft sand, way up here. Problem is, is Bruce was built to go across the soft sand, way down here. Would not do it without help. But hey, I got some ideas, and Bruce is still useful around here, you know, around the farm. We'll use it to do stuff. You'll see Bruce in upcoming videos. Hey, um... Comments or suggestions, all you gotta do is leave me when I read them all. Hey, I'm Chris from Key Farm. I wish you'd love God, love people, and we do a lot of interesting stuff. Watch some of these other videos.